everyone, it's me, I'm kind of back, even though I haven't really gone anywhere, um, <clears throat> I haven't done a video for a while, for me, I have obviously been posting on YouTube, um, I am working on better videos, getting better lighting, obviously it's quite dark at the moment, but um, I wanted to try something which, um, well I'll probably amalgamate, I'm not going to really edit this video until I can finally find what I'm looking for. Which from the title of the video, as you know, is kombucha. Which I have seen on my favourite YouTuber is Colleen Ballinger, who is Miranda Things. And she was going on about this kombucha and how she loved it. And it was like a replacement to her fizzy drinks. And I don't really drink fizzy drinks much. Um, honey is a treat. Um, and I looked up on the internet what kombucha was and I was like, ugh, there's no one going to like it. But because it's like from green tea and stuff like that and I anyone who knows me knows I hate tea with a huge passion even the smell of tea makes me gag green tea I don't like either I've tried it but when we did the Japanese Kit Kat challenge one of the Kit Kats was green tea and I swear that was one of my favorites and I was like I know it's kind of different because it's chocolate but I was like I'm gonna try this stuff I'm gonna you know see what it's like um and where I live in this town is quite limited with its shops, but it has two shops. I looked online where sells it, because in the UK it's not a widely... You can't just go into a supermarket and buy kombucha. It's, like, hard to find. Um, and we have a Hollander Barrett, which is a health food store, and we have Waitrose, which is a supermarket. And I have been to both of those in our town, and neither has it, which is crazy. Um, but I was shopping today... And we have a shop called Marks and Spencers, which is kind of a posh shop. Everything's very expensive. And on cue, there is Colin Ballinger tweeting. Not me, though. Um, and I found this. Which, basically, it doesn't. it's not called kombucha, but it basically is what kombucha is. It's got green tea, chamomile, and it's got peach. And you can get any flavour, as far as I'm aware. Um, now, for those of you who don't know what kombucha is... I've had a quick look on the internet, there's loads of different descriptions, some very in detail of where it comes from, the origins. But basically, it's um, a variety of fermented, lightly effervescent, sweetened, black or green tea drinks that are commonly intended as functional beverages for those for their supposed health benefits. Kombucha is produced by fermenting tea using a symbiotic colony of bacteria and yeast called SCOBY, or I think that's how you say it, S-C-O-B-Y. Actual contributing microbial populations in SCOBY cultures vary, but the yeast component generally includes Saccharomyces and other species, and the bacterial component almost always includes something I can't even pronounce to oxidise yeast produced alcohols to ac acetic and other acids. I don't know. But it says, although it has been claimed to have numerous health benefits, there is no good evidence that drinking kombucha has such effect. Well, nothing really. Can. I can't see they're going to do a study on kombucha. So basically, <clears throat> the exact oranges aren't, or origins aren't known, but it's thought to be primarily in Russia and Eastern Europe, um, etc. So basically, it's fermented green tea. I would definitely not drink that. But this has got peach in, which I love peach a lot. Um, as the flavour, not as the actual fruit, because the fur skin stuff on it, I get freaked out by that. Um, and chamomile, I have no idea what chamomile tastes like. I I just don't drink tea, I hate it. Um, <clears throat> so this, ingredients are spring water, and no kombucha is supposed to be fizzy as well. But this doesn't look that fizzy, but I don't know. <clears throat> fruit extract, peach juice and concentrate, acidity regulator, I don't like that kind of thing. Citric acid, flavourings, tea, peach, green tea extract, chamomile extract, antioxidant, absorbic acid, vegetable and fruit concentrates, safflower, sweet potato and apple. And it's suitable for vegetarians and vegans. Um, and it's really good because I was thinking usually these kind of things, like normal fizzy drinks, are so full of sugar. And actually this isn't bad at all. So per, this is a 750ml bottle. It's a big bottle like compared to like a can would probably be the size of this label um so but on here it says per 100 mils 
there's only 6.4 grams of sugar which is really quite low for a drink like this um, and there's like 0.1 grams of fat so you usually don't look at that when you just think of drinks so you look at the sugars um, and there's 126 calories per 100 mils I mean I'm just going to have a sip if I like it I'll have a little bit more but I'm not going to have a huge amount and it does say shake well before serving serve three best served chilled it has been chilling in the fridge I tried shaking it but it's like not really actually mixing it's like when you have um, soy milk you have to actually open it and then close it so let's see if it hisses or fizzes oh well there wasn't much of a fizz and I'm not sure with this because it doesn't oh, it's not actually proper kombucha I don't know with it see now I've unthinked it now you can shake it Oh, it is quite fizzing, but it is fizzing. I wasn't sure if I'd have to buy lemonade to add, which then defeats the purpose of it being healthy, because lemonade's full of sugar. It's weird, it fizzed, but when I open the top, in most fizzy drinks it would go over the top, so let's see. It smells of peach, that's a good start. So let's see what it tastes like. It just tastes of like peachy flavoured water. It's not fizzy. So it's not proper kombucha. Try some more. That's alright. Do you want to try some, Andy? It literally tastes of peach. That's all it tastes. I can't taste chamomile or green tea. I mean, I don't even know what those taste like. It's just like very watery peach squash, but obviously no sugar. Well, low sugar. I would definitely have that. I keep having that because it's very good for you, it says. But it's not what I was expecting at all. It's not fizzy. It doesn't taste of green tea or chamomile or anything like that. Very odd. So if you do live in the UK and you have an M&S, try this. Um, hey everyone, so I'm back. It's now Monday. When I spoke to you last time, it was Saturday with the kombucha. Well, fake kombucha. I went to Cambridge yesterday for my birthday. My actual birthday. And I went to Holland and Barrett. And their Holland and Barrett is actually smaller than ours. Yet they stopped it. So, shame on you, St. It's Holland and Barrett. Um, I'd seen this online, so I knew which brand it was. But it's called Captain Kombucha. It was 2 99 so it's not something I'm going to be buying a lot of. Actually, the Marks and Spencers one I will buy again because it was like one pound twenty something. It was one pound thirty, and there's a bigger bottle and it's like really nice. Um, this one has been chilling for a bit because it was not in the chilled bit. So there's a section that's like drinks that aren't chilled. So check there if you're not sure where to find it. There were two flavors. This is California raspberry. I think there was like um. I can't actually remember the other flavour that was there. But it says it's made in Portugal. It's no preservatives, unpasteurised, raw and vegan and bio-organic. And it says it's kombucha fermented tea drink with raspberry extract ready to drink. And it says do not shake. So we know this is fizzy because the other one is not fizzy. And I don't know if there was a taste of any kind of tea. Like I said, I hate tea. But it's interesting because this one, it says that the ingredients are water filtered by reverse osmosis, okay, organic evaporated cane juice, carbon dioxide, organic green tea, kombucha cultures, organic raspberry extract, organic extracts, carrot, apple and blackcurrant. And it says refrigerate after opening and consume within three days. So, um, yeah. And there's a whole thing about Captain Kombucha, but I really don't care about that. Um, so I'm going to try it. Now, it has got a raspberry flavour. I, I obviously assume that original kombucha, maybe, is horrible, but I haven't seen any original ones. All the ones I've seen people try have got some kind of flavour added to it. So, oh, it smells very nice. It smells of, of raspberry. It smells very sweet. So let's try it. Hmm. <laughs> it 
it tastes to me like Vimto. Anyone who knows what Vimto, I don't know if it's just a British drink, but it's a fizzy thing. But this is like Vimto without all the bad chemicals and sugars. This is all natural. It's almost like, not as sweet as Vimto. It's like um, if you have fizzy water and then you add like raspberry flavour. It's funny because like I would never have iced tea because I believe that maybe that does taste of tea. And my whole issue is I hate tea. But you cannot taste any green tea in this at all. I think, do you want to try it? Yeah. It just tastes of fizzy raspberry spring, spring water. It's quite sweet. It's fine. What do you think? Mm, yeah. <laughs> That's not an answer. Hmm, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Well, what do you think it tastes of? Carbonated. <laughs> well, yeah, that's what I think. <laughs> Just like a hint of raspberry. Yeah. It's funny because it says it's fermented tea drink, so it's, it's actually good for you and it tastes good. I wouldn't be like having this all the time, obviously. This is a treat, especially this one. But the other one. Because all I literally all I drink is water. I don't drink tea and coffee. I don't have fizzy drinks very often at all. If I do, it's when we go out for a meal or whatever. So yeah, I think the peach one is much nicer. Um, and that has got chamomile and green tea and stuff. So I prefer it over the fizzy one. But if I did have a craving for a fizzy drink, I'm probably more likely to get a fizzy drink than kombucha because here it's just so hard to get hold of that I'm not spending three pound on a bottle of stuff when it's like 70p for a normal one although it's you know the health obviously this has health benefits but I'm not sure but I'd love to know if anyone out there watching this has tried kombucha whatever country you're in what you think of it um I don't know but yeah so that's it that's kombucha Thanks for watching everyone, stay tuned and click the picture of me on the screen right now and you can subscribe to my channel, please like the video and click the bell notification if you want to know when my next videos are up on to YouTube, um, there should be a box on the screen where you can see other videos I've done, happy watching!